Hi everyone, it's Mary and welcome to The Dressing Room Diaries. As always, I hope you truly had an amazing week. Today, I would like to do something totally different. So, who's ready? Who wants to play a game with me? Uh -huh. Let's play a game. And the game that I want to play, it's called Fact or Fiction. Now, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, it's sort of an easy game. Maybe, maybe not. You'll have to decide. What I'm going to do is read for you three possible news articles from my iPad, and you'll have to decide whether or not the article is fact or it's fiction. Also, a little bit of a hint, expect the unexpected because I didn't choose average normal articles. Um, they're unique and definitely gonna make you put your thinking caps on. So be ready for, yeah, the unexpected. Now, I need you to think about these very carefully before you answer them. You'll be given time after each article and then I'll tell you the answer so you'll know right away how you did. Also, it would be so much fun for everybody if you could please in the comments below, remember to leave your score and tell me what you thought about the articles. So, with all that in mind, who's ready to play Fact or Fiction with me? This next article is or is not about Legos. But real quickly, those of you who don't know what Legos are, I would say they are sort of a children's toy or something for hobbyists. Normally they are square little bricks that you interlock together and you can build just about anything with Legos. As you can see, they are very durable and people get really creative with them. So scientists got a little creative and tested the plastic polymer in Legos to see whether or not it would actually be durable enough to survive the end of the world. That's right, they exposed the plastic polymer in Legos to extreme heat on the level of a nuclear explosion to see whether or not they would melt and extreme cold to see whether or not Legos would survive a nuclear winter checking the polymer to see if it was a potential realistic building tool for the future. And according to this article, if it's real, guess what? We're all gonna live in Legos because this article says that Legos are definitely a possible building material going forward. The polymer survived the heat of a nuclear explosion and the cold of a nuclear winter in their testing. So, you tell me, are we living in Legos or not? Is this article fact or fiction? Time is up. So, those of you who said this article was 100% Fiction are wrong. This article is 100% fact. And it was published in Popular Mechanics on December 26th of 2019 in an article entitled, Why Scientists Supercooled Lego Bricks to Near Absolute Zero. Mm -hmm. We are apparently all going to be living in Legos because that special magic plastic polymer is able to withstand the heat of a nuclear explosion and the cold of a nuclear winter. Who knew? I guess we all do now. This is Jimmy. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have three pugs. Jimmy, Johnny and Moriarty, and Johnny and Moriarty are currently upstairs. But Jimmy is a big clue in this next article. So I really would like to start off by asking you a question that may or may not help you with this one. What do Jimmy, dogs, and the quintessential, probably most popular Shakespearean quote, to be or not to be, have in common? To be. If you're thinking absolutely nothing, or not you're wrong. To be. 
they have in common, if this article is fact, the all dog production of Hamlet. Uh -huh. The all dog production of Hamlet. That is the question. Hamlet, the quintessential Shakespearean play that every proper stage actor wants to absolutely portray because it is that prestigious, was performed by all dogs in an open field in New Hampshire. Unfortunately, it was shut down because sheep from a nearby pasture decided to crash the party. Mm -hmm. So the dogs are trying to play Hamlet and sheep see this and they want to get in on the fun so they come wandering across the pasture and they crash it. Yeah. So the all dog production of Hamlet. Is this fact or is it fiction? Your time starts now. Okay, your time is up. This one was a giveaway to all of you because an all dog production of Hamlet that takes place in a field in New Hampshire. And while the dogs are pretending to act and do Hamlet, sheep crash it and just start running around and the dogs start chasing the sheep and I don't know what else is going on. I don't know what's to be or not to be, but certainly not this production. This is 100% fiction. No, it's not. It is 100% fact. It comes from the article in the Business Insider entitled Most Ridiculous Projects the Government Funded in 2017. The article was published on November 28th in 2017. And not only did this production of Hamlet happen, but it was funded to the tune of $30,000 by the National Endowment for the Arts. They did Hamlet. I wonder what's next. Macbeth? How'd you do with that one? Fact or fiction? Science fiction this time. In an online article, I recently read about the newest division to the United States military, very proudly joining the Army, Navy, Air Force, and the Marines is Space Force. The article really doesn't explain what Space Force does or is going to do. It was more of a PR piece. They were so proud to show off their brand new logo. Yeah, it's so cool looks just like Star Treks. They're almost identical. Let's stop pretending. And this fascination with Star Trek might explain some of their PR possibilities for hires. They have gotten in contact with Chris Pine. He's the actor who plays the younger version of James T. Kirk in the newer movie series. He was offered an honorary captainship. I'm sorry. I think the government was looking to get a little street cred with that one. Mm, no, he wanted nothing to do with this malarkey. They went a step further and attempted to recruit Zach Quinto. For those of you who don't know who he is, he plays Mr. Spock in the same movie series. And he had the best response to his offer of employment. They thought he would be the perfect fit in the science division to head their research and development. And he had to explain to them that he's not a scientist, he's an actor. I'm a doctor, not an engineer. So that one didn't happen either. But starting now, you have to decide, did this happen at all? Is this fact or fiction? Time's ticking. Get started. Odors cannot travel through the vacuum of space.
your time is up. Is this fact or is this fiction? Science fiction. In the most recent online article in Scientific Digest, the United States military discussed plans for a new division entitled Space Force. And that Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto would be offered a chance to join the Space Force in advisory positions as captain and science officer. An ancestor of mine maintained that if you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Uh-uh. I just made that up. So, this is absolute fiction. Those of you who said it was fact, no points for you. And those of you who said this was fiction, nice call. Score a point. I hope you all had a great time here on The Dressing Room Diaries and you enjoyed playing fact or fiction with us. I just want to leave you with a parting thought that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Please live long and prosper, my friends. We'll see you next time on The Dressing Room Diaries. Okay, boys, be mommy up. Bye. Anybody have any Robin on ale? Maybe. A little thirsty. It's dry down here on the planet. A little party. I hear Romulans are fun. Just a thought. <laughs>